Okay, in this lecture we're going to cover Event Viewer and Windows Logs. So on Server 2012, one way to start Event Viewer is to click on Tools and then select Event Viewer right here in the list. If you're on another operating system, such as Windows 7 or Windows 10 or Windows 8, you can also type in, excuse me, let me type that right, Event Viewer and then click it that way, okay? So Event Viewer is not something that's restricted to just Server 2012 or Server 2008 or 2003, etc. Now, when, let me explain how this works and what this is. Basically, when something happens, when you go to install a program on a Windows operating system, it creates what are called logs. And these logs are stored in Event Viewer. Or to be more specific, they can be viewed through Event Viewer. So if you, someone restarts your computer remotely, it'll be tracked in Event Viewer. If you clear the audit log, it'll be tracked in Event Viewer. If you uninstall a program, it'll be tracked. If there's an error, then it'll also be logged in Event Viewer. Okay, so this first little tab right here, we can create custom views, but we're not very interested in that. We're not gonna create any of these custom views, so we're just gonna ignore that. And we're gonna go right to Windows Logs. Now we have Application Logs, which will give us uh, application level logs, just like it says, it's pretty simple. Uh, we can click through here and you can see the software protection services started. Um, you can click through here and just look. It's a lot of uh, information that you're going to have to Google because you might not know, if you're new to computers, you might not know what SVC host does. There's all this different information and you don't generally just come through and browse through Event Viewer. Generally, you'll have some kind of problem. You'll try to install a program or a Windows feature and it'll air out. It'll fail. At that point, you would go to Event Viewer and you would say, okay, I tried to install the program at 7.56 a.m. and it failed. So you would go to your logs and you would look for your logs at 7.56 a.m. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and look at security. Now, we have two types under security. We have audit success and audit failures. Now, here we can see that, let's just look at this real quick. An account was logged off. All right, so let's we can scroll down in this little pane here and just see the details. Now the account name was tserv2012 with the dollar sign at the end. That is the local computer account. Okay, so nothing big here, nothing wrong, uh, nothing to worry about. It's just saying that the account has successfully logged off. Now let's see if I can find where we actually log in. Don't know if I'll be able to find that because there's so many logs in here. And you can see up here, it says number of events, 44,000, and then it has an exclamation mark. That means there's new events. So if I press F5, now I have all the latest events. Now the second, as you can see, it's already happened. A new log was just created, and I have to refresh again. So 44,755 logs. In a second, there'll be more new logs. And uh, it just kind of keeps going and going and going, and it'll overwrite. See, we got more new logs again. So a lot of times, if you're into the information assurance field or counter hacking, you'll be going through the security logs and you'll be looking for what's called uh, audit failures. And I'll sort this so I can try and get these at the top. Just might take a second. So we can just look through these different things. If we wanted to look up this code, we can Google that code. It'll probably return some results. It doesn't always, sometimes you'll run into this really ambiguous or obscure error and you won't be able to find information on it. But generally you can look up these return codes and find out exactly what's going on. There's a task category. The level is information. Uh, so, you know, we can go through here. There's another log on. So, so, something failed to log on. Again, the computer account, for whatever reason, failed to log on. There's a log on ID there. And then we'll have the same, uh, sorry, substatus. But you can look up these, uh, these status codes, or you can Google this substatus code and try and figure out exactly what is causing the issue. And then you would also want to include that it's lsass.exe, lsass. So you can just browse through this information. And we have the setup, which this is mostly in here. It's all the Windows updates that I installed. So you can just see that Windows Event Viewer is just, it basically tracks everything that happens on the computer. Uh, nobody just browses through this stuff. No one looks at this unless they're looking for something specific, whether it's, you know, a hacker intruding your system. You might want to look for, you know, failed logon attempts or something like that. And there's a lot of software that costs thousands and thousands of dollars that will uh, grab all these logs 
and put them into an interface that's a lot easier to read. Like, for example, uh, uh, we've used GFI Events Manager, where that we would have 500 workstations, and it would go to all those workstations and grab all the security logs, and then we'd be able to review them for all of our workstations, and it would sort and say, hey, this user failed to log in, you know, five times in a row, and it just gives you hints on if there's a brute force attack on your network and different things like that. Uh, but if you don't have software like that, then you're stuck with Event Viewer, which is much more difficult to sort through the information. So we can see that this is, you know, the update number that installed. It was successful. Target state installed. Uh, we have some system logs that we could look through. Uh, the Windows Update Services entered the running state. So if you're troubleshooting something at 7.04 a.m., you're like, man, I don't think the update services, uh, the update service started. Well, you could go through the logs and you can find it here and say, okay, it did start. So we have information level, and then we have, if I sort, we have, let's see, errors and warnings under application. Uh, you can sort through all these and try it. You're always going to have errors happen. Uh, these errors are just happening on their own. I haven't done anything to generate these errors, so you're always going to have some errors. So I wouldn't worry about the errors showing up in the logs unless something is breaking. So if you're trying to complete something and it's not working, then it's time to come through here and find, okay, let's see if I have, if I have any errors or warning messages or anything like that. So to clear a log, you can right click and say clear log. And it'll ask you if you want to save the logs before you want to clear it. And it'll save it to some type of log file, but we can just click clear. And now we don't have any events. So if we do this under security, clear log and say clear, it leaves one log in here saying the event, the audit log was cleared by IT fee slash administrator. That's the account that I'm logged into right now. Okay. So that's how you work with Event Viewer. That's how, uh, that's the purpose of Event Viewer. And I hope that gives you some information. Um, if you're, if you basically, if you run into a problem and you're not getting a good error that you can Google or something like that, it's kind of obscure, then you need to open Event Viewer and you need to start digging in. It's not much fun. It's very tedious, but uh, it'll definitely get the job done and definitely tell you what's going on with your network. So, all right, good job, and I will see you in the next lecture.